Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. I want to share with you an experience that I had yesterday down at Absolute Ultimate AV. Now, I received a phone call yesterday from a friend of mine, Nick, who lives in Wisconsin. You've probably seen the home theater tour that I did of his setup from the Wisconsin and Illinois trip. If you didn't get a chance to see that, definitely check that out. I'll link it in the card above and in the description below. But Nick messaged me either yesterday or the day before and asked me how would I like to, or if I'd be interested in going to see one of the coolest home theater projectors and even, even larger venue projectors really on the market today. And of course, you know, I was all excited. So I met up with Nick. Uh, I left here about 12 o'clock, drove to Winter Haven, picked him up. Then we drove all the way over to Sarasota, Florida, and we met with Nigel as well as Alan. Now, Nigel and Alan are co-partners and co-owners of uh, Ultimate or Absolute Ultimate AV uh, down in Sarasota, Florida. And they've got some really, really cool things that they're gonna be working on. And he was able to give us some insight to that. Um, but Nigel and, and Alan, just super, super kind guys, man. It was great to, to finally meet them. Um, Alan was the original owner of the AVS Forum, but they've kind of partnered together to really just bring the best of AV uh, to, um, you know, to consumers like yourselves and mine, but kind of on a higher end tier. So I just want to share with you my experience if I could do that uh, and try to capture what happened. So we get there, and the main thing that Nick wanted to, to check out was the Christie Griffin Projector. Now, this isn't your normal Epson JVC Sony projector. This thing is legit. I'm looking at this big, massive, I mean, we're talking probably four feet long, um, probably two to three feet wide, and about two feet tall. There's a Christie projector there, and then they've got one uh, on display right outside of their theater. Now, I'm gonna just go ahead and say up front, this video doesn't have any screenshots. I'm not gonna share any video content because they asked me not to film or take photos because right now they're literally trying to build what they call uh, the experience center. And so it's basically under construction. So I'm gonna make a second trip once they get that done in a few months and we'll do some videos down there. So just hang tight. But I wanted to share with you my experience of this thing. So we get there and I see this massive projector and you know, before we even go into the theater to kind of look at it and see what it looks like, um, I'm not what I would consider a video file. I mean, I love beautiful cinematography. I love, you know, great quality projectors, but honestly, I'm not super up on the, the technology there. So Nigel was really cool because he knew, you know, he knows Nick. Nick is very, very knowledgeable. Nick actually calibrated my JVC NX7 for me. Um, and just is very familiar with uh, both audio as well as video. Um, so needless to say, I'm standing there amongst Nick and Nigel, and I know right off the bat, I'm not the smartest guy in the room, and I'm completely okay with that because I'm just literally soaking it all in, all this information. And some of it, honestly, was kind of like trying to drink from a fire hose, you know? Uh, There's a lot of information, but I was able to glean some stuff and learn some new things but one of the things that, that Nigel showed is he pulled up his computer and he began to tell us about why the Christie uh, Griffin is, is quite different. One of the things that makes it different is my JVC projector. I believe it, it has a color space. In other words, the amount of colors that it can reproduce on screen is what they call Rec. 709. And if I'm wrong about any of this, guys, let me know down in the, in the comments below. Again, this is not my area of expertise. I'm just trying to relay some things that I learned and some things that I experienced while I was there. But he shows us a picture of, um, there's like three triangles. And I forget the first one, but basically it's a small triangle. And then there's Rec 709, which is a bigger triangle in uh, a color. And I'll put it up here on the screen so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And then you've got Rec 2020 which is the biggest triangle using three points that you can possibly get in the color spectrum. And all of that, that big oval or circle of colors is basically what our eyes can see. 
That's the capability of colors that are out there that we can perceive with our eyes. And so Rec 2020 captures as much of those colors as possible using three points, you know, red, green, and blue, basically. So this is a, a true RGB projector, and it can reproduce the, that color spectrum of Rec 2020. And Nigel also pulled up another graph that really helped me to kind of visualize what this projector is capable of. And it basically, he equated it to volume. You know, when you're looking at just the triangles on a flat surface, you know, that's an area. But when you're talking about volume, now you have kind of like a flat plane, but then you have height to it. And so when you're looking at, at this image here, you can see that Rec. 709 has a certain amount of volume of color, but then when you get to Rec. 2020, I believe it's like twice the amount of colors that it's able to reproduce. And so he kind of painted this picture, just um, you know what that looks like before we even go into the theater room. And so I'm already my wheels are turning. I'm like, okay, this this will be interesting. I mean, to see maybe colors that my projector physically cannot reproduce. So I didn't know what that was going to look like. So we step into the theater room and, and the very first thing that Nigel does, which I thought was pretty cool, was again, he knows Nick is super, super technical. So he goes into uh, his computer and he puts up a, a test pattern basically. And, and this is one that's been used a lot in the AVS forum, especially uh, guys that are into calibration, but I think it's called the, the Quick Brown Fox. And so this or document has just, it's like a torture test for uh, being able to look and see, okay, are the corners sharp on your image? Um, how are the whites? How are the different colors? The red, the green, the blue, black levels, different things like that. You can kind of get a just an overall picture of how well your projector is able to reproduce that. And plus it helps you to really fine tune like, um, you know, your convergence where uh, your red, green, and blue um, lasers are kind of in alignment and such. So um, they're like standing like a, a foot from this thing. I mean, just getting real close, looking at the detail. And Nigel's pointing out how accurate this thing is. And so I got kind of curious. And so I went up to, to the, uh, the screen and I'm looking at what Nigel is saying. And he says, if you look right here, you can see on this white bar, that's a horizontal bar that goes all the way across from left to right. Inside that bar, when you look really close, you will see four individual white pixels. I mean, we're talking pixels. And this is a 4K image. Four individual white pixels. And in between the four pixels, you can see basically a black line that goes horizontal and a one pixel black line that goes, or I'm sorry, vertical and horizontal. So basically there's a little plus, there's a cross right in between four pixels. And I'm looking at this going, oh my goodness, man, that is an insane amount of detail on this thing. And it's just like literally almost pixel, pixel perfect, I guess I would describe it. And so he wanted to let, you know, myself and Nick know that, hey, look, I've, I've dialed this in as best as I could, man. This thing is as good as this projector is gonna look. And so, you know, the sharpness, the, or the, uh, the focus and everything, it was just really, really, really nice. So then, you know, we removed that test pattern and, and he puts up an image and I wish I had the image, man. It, it was a cool looking image, but guys, I'm telling you, when the image popped up there, I went, holy cow. And it was this lady and she had like um, colored hair and it was just so stinking vibrant, but it wasn't like, you just take the saturation and just boost the mess out of it because that doesn't look natural. This was incredibly vivid, just very alive, if I could really describe it as that. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous pixels. Uh, I mean, you're looking at her eyelashes and there's so much detail in it. I'm just like, okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing. And then he's like, okay, you know, but we don't really know what her hair is supposed to look like because you got different shades of green and purple and all this. Um, so let's look at something that we do know what it's supposed to look like. And and he he described it way cooler than what I would say. I would say, you know, now I'm going to show you some tomatoes. And of course, Nigel is from the UK. So he says, um, you know, so now we're going to look at a tomato. And I was like, his sound, the way he says tomato is a whole lot cooler than the way I say it. But we look at these this picture of 
tomatoes and they've got water droplets on it and just the vibrance of the reds that, that came out from that. And then in particular, the stem, the green stem, you know, like a, a tomato vine or tomato vine kind of has like these little fuzz kind of pieces on the vine. And then there's these little pokey kind of things. Oh my goodness, man. The green was just like, it was almost three dimensional. And then in between the green and in between the, uh, the reds, you've got this deep, deep black. And so, oh my goodness, man, I'm looking at this going, this is phenomenal. And so then we put on some movie demos as well. We watched, I think it was Tron, but that had a lot of color in it. And this thing, I'm serious guys, it was just gorgeous. Really, really nice. Um, and you know, most projectors are in, you know, the low thousands of brightness. I believe the Griffith, Griffin, I'm sorry, the Griffin is, oh my goodness, what is it? Like 30,000 lumens, something like it's, it's bonkers. And so Nigel told us, he said, you know, would you, at the end of the, the demo, he asked us, would we want it any brighter? And I said, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. I mean, this thing, there were points in the video where we would watch a scene and it would just have this real bright light. And it literally, like my eyes were going, whoa, that's crazy bright. I wish my projector could get that bright. But then again, my projector is not $140,000 either. That's how much the Griffin is. Um, but this thing, oh my goodness, guys, literally by far, no comparison, the most beautiful image I've ever seen on a projector. And I know some people say, you know, oh, you can't get uh, OLED quality or TV quality on a projector. Man, I'm telling you, I would take that any day if it fit within my budget. It was fantastic. But we watched Tron, we watched, oh goodness, what were some other, the demos, um, uh, Frozen 2. So there's a, a really cool scene there where uh, and I haven't seen the movie. My ki I don't have young, young kids, but um, there's a, a scene where um, there's like this little, kind of like a little creature and he's kind of got flames on him and he lights up the tree on fire. And Oh man, it was like, just again, it was almost not neon, but it was just, you know how a neon color is just really vibrant and really saturated. That's kind of the image here, man. I mean, just everything from the greens to the blues. It was just, mm. can you tell I'm a little excited? So needless to say, this was an incredible experience. Now we thought he was going to have the even higher model. So Christy has the Griffin, which is $140,000. And then they also have the Eclipse, which that's like the Mac Daddy of projectors. It even has its own cooler and, and just, it, it's, a, it's an ordeal. But they're getting that in, I think, in the next month. But Nigel said he would love, and Alan said they would love to have me come back out when they get the Experience Center all put together. They're hoping to have about four, I think, theater rooms in the center, and then they'll have a couple other um, spaces as well. So guys, I'm pumped to go back and check these out. But if you ever get a chance to, to view the Christie or if your budget ever gets to that kind of level of projector, Oh my goodness, check it out. It is an absolute beast of a projector and it's quiet too. That was the interesting thing too. I guess that's one of the new features with the Griffin is I, I think I looked online and it's got a noise floor of about 46 dB. So, and that's on high mode, you know, so it's a um, super quiet projector, but, but man, yeah, and you can attach different lenses to it depending on what you're looking for and each lens I think does something different. And, and so again, I'm not super technical on that stuff, but just from a consumer's perspective, like if money was no object, man, I would purchase a Christie any day of the week. That thing was phenomenal. Um, so hopefully the next video that I'm able to do when we're there, somehow I'll try, I'll let, I'll have to at least try to capture some still images or something so I don't get copyright uh, from it. But man, if you can just get a glimpse of how beautiful this image is, I think you would be just blown away. So I just wanted to share with you that experience. I hope you've uh, found it, um, I don't know, entertaining or, or whatever. 
but you know it's one of those things in life when you experience something just really cool you just want to share it or share it with the people that can appreciate that type of stuff so that's all this video was i hope you guys have an incredible week it's the weekend enjoy the time with you and your family and as always you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video